match 11 coming to you live from Sharjah, the Capitals against the Gulf Giants. It's a home game for James Vince's Gulf Giants. Look at those career runs, 11,766 at a strike rate of 140. The strike rate, that's what matters in this format, Alan. 149 is a match winner. He's got 180-plus score in this ILT20. Two wins for the uh, Capitals. This is Richard Gleeson of uh, England from your neck of the woods, from the county of Lancashire. Chris Jordan at slip. Here's Gleeson. Oh, snakes back. Well taken. Very well taken by Jamie Smith. Like we were discussing earlier. Doesn't know where it is. Charge. Oh, now then. That could be gone. What was Gurbaz doing? David Warner had no idea where the ball was. We're going to go to the third umpire. He's walking off. Side on angle. Okay, the batter is well short. I'm ready to make my decision for the big screen. TV umpire Leslie Reefer doesn't need to see that again. That's gone. And uh, Ramalou Gurbaz. Oh! Nice sound, unfortunately, picks up Shemron Hetmeyer. Sounded good, looked good, unfortunately, found Hetmeyer. I thought, ultimately, I think couldn't get the elevation on oh, top of the bat. They didn't middle it at all and went straight to the fielder at uh, square leg. Hetmeyer was the fielder, he's got his first wicket, a brilliant start by Giants, two wickets. A little bit of improvisation from Sam Billings. It needed something. It's a Sky247.net Super 4. Much needed. That sounded pretty good. And it's still not gone far enough. It's the shorter boundary. And he's just come off the back of two half centuries. Go the way. This one was always in for a shorter ball coming from Brathwaite. He felt that he could time it well towards square leg and go over Cox. No, it wasn't. Lifting it over the top. Not quite timing it. He's skipping away towards the boundary, so he'll get four. Runs leg side. It was nicely played by Chopra. Brathwaite, though, has the last laugh. Big trouble now for the Dubai Capitals as David Warner has a little look at the surface. The movement that David Warner, that expression that he gives now, oh, did he play down the wrong line? Certainly did. Didn't cover his off stump. What a That's a great shot. Great timing from Chopra into the surface Catch it. well that's been smashed for four fancies this oh is that a great catch it certainly is Dominic Drake's magnificent catch that puts him in the front runner for winning the uh, the performance bike Ball is in hand, fingers under the ball. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Fingers under the ball, in control of body and movement. I'm satisfied and ready to make my decision on the big screen. And an outstanding catch by Dominic Drakes gives. Zoheb Zohbeer, his first wicket in the DP World ILT20. Yeah. A brilliant shot, that's his strength. You can't bowl him there outside of stuff. He waits for this kind of delivery to have a go if they don't get out. Into the gap, and this will race away to the boundary. Two boundaries in this over. 
11 runs from it, 14 gone, 83 for 5. More from Carlos Brathwaite, but straight away he's dispatched down the ground by Sikanda Raza. Has this gone far enough? No, it hasn't. Easily underneath it is Carlos Brathwaite. From uh, Jordan, like I said, right in the slot. But area he picked up, Powell, wasn't the right one. Straight to the big man, who's safe. He's got his fifth wicket in this uh, DP World Isles. Please. Sounded so sweet. Sikanda Raza. First six of the match. DP World with donating a cricket kit for every six hit. Kit goes towards grassroot cricket. Well timed. That's good stuff from Sikanda Raza. He's been in a man. He's been like a man in form. Most of the season. No timing. Short side. Six runs. Wasn't out of the screws. And Sikanda Raza. Raza. He went to the shorter part of the boundary. He just went for the swing. He didn't really know where the result would take him with that shot selection of his, but was good enough. Yeah, Raza's fine form. Yorker again. Slices straight to Herata Rasmus, who's on the field. Raza feels like maybe he was squeezed into the ground. Brathwaite says out. Umpires will have a bit of a conflab. Well, he squeezes straight to the man at backward point, Erasmus from Namibia. Let's hear from a very busy Leslie Reefer. Nice and slow. Pitches onto the bat. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm ready to make my decision for the big screen. Well, very clear from that. Excellent from Leslie Reefer, who is very, very precise with his decision-making. Doesn't mess about. Clearly out. Huge wicket. Dropped. Difficult, but for Chris Jordan, who is the best catcher in the game, puts one down. Dropped one in the first game of the tournament. Goes full, and Holder gets enough of it. Finally, Jason Holder finds the middle of that lengthy blade and finishes the innings with a much-needed boundary. Gulf Giants, they're going to need 133 for 120 balls to get two much-needed points. We're going to have a quick break. When we come back, we'll have a live run chase. And to Jamie Smith. On top. Yeah, we saw the ball. Jason Holder picks up an early wicket. Just what was required, and yet again, using that angle, he's done it so well in the tournament. Or just nips back. It's the analyst dream. When you're in your team meetings, the analysts nip one back and hit the top of off. Well, that went into the top of middle. What a start for Jason Holder. I said... He does shuffle across, finds a way down towards the... Backward square leg boundary, and he'll pick up four to end that over. So four from it, nine for one it is. How good is that? He made that look really easy. That's not an easy shot at all. And that six could be in contention. Watchful at the start, and then just clubs it. Flick of the wrist, 92 metres. Ah, not out of the ground, though. Got to go a long way to get one out of the ground like Raza. It back James in. Vince. Down the ground. Belted. Back to back boundaries for the skipper. Just over. Hit with some power as well. Oh, he's walloped this. Crunched it. One bounce for. gone after this one my word he's gone after this he hasn't even taken a step out of his crease a big six don't forget that dp world donates a cricket kit for every six hit in this tournament look at this it's just stayed his ground anticipating it's going to be a length ball 
very much predictable is Kane Richardson. Talking about muscle, the previous shot over Midoff. This is even better. Lofted him. So easily done for six. Just. Oh, clattered. It's another six. Just the disdain with which Chris Lynn hit that ball. And as well, very much targeted on the stumps. It's at a perfect length. Chris Lynn is... Clatters the stumps this time. One shot too many for Chris Lynn. Akif Raja gets his man. And some few words as Lee's man walking back. Very low down on the bat. If he's holding the blade as well to hit that ball again out of the park. Akif Raja after being. James Vince down the pitch. And a lovely clean blow by the Englishman. Well, this. Very rarely does a bowler toss the one up. He's just tossed his second ball up, trying to get the. Gone again. But this time, not enough. Oh, brilliant catch. Sam Billings, take a bow. You're on stage. Well, he's got two bites of the chest here. He surely won't lose the contest. He's number one, number two on the list with this outstanding catch in the outfield. He was busy signing autographs earlier, but he knows exactly when the job arises. Well, that's going to go for four. That's not a very good first ball from Van der Merwe. It's short and... Great hands, beautiful hands. He opened the blade right at the last minute. Jordan Cox to get it past Sekandar Raza at backward point, but also beat Kane Richardson in the deep. Used the pace beautifully there, Cox. Pulled away, and Midon is inside the ring, and Midwicket is inside the ring because David Warner is attacking with five men trying to save the single. Presents the opportunity, and Cox doesn't miss out. Very fine, it's poor from Holder, it's easy from Jordan Cox. A little tickle brings up the hundred. Very average bowling from uh, Holder. Let's pick up another. On the stumps he is, but the timing is so good straight down the ground. He's a very talented youngster, is Jordan Cox. Eyes of catch it and a simple one for Jason Holder. Sekunder Raza just bowled a couple of deliveries and he's got himself a wicket. Things. He's contributed with the bat, he's contributing now with the ball. And a wicket a few overs earlier would have just brought back the Dubai Capitals a lot stronger in this game. Confident appeal. Dubai Capitals very confident with the appeal. Sikandar Raza maybe just having a chat with his wiki keeper and captain about where he thought. Short on park. Kitchen in line. Impact in line. The kick's hitting. I'm ready to go about on field to Martin. I'll have to ask. Shimmer and Hitmeyer's face was a picture. He cannot believe that that is all three reds and that the on-field decision made by Martin Sagers had to be overturned. Asking for a catch, nobody there. Runs for Jordan Cox. His innings were so good. Yeah. Outstanding from Van der Merwe. This is not done yet. By far, dispersal of these two spinners to come in and start hitting Timber. Absolutely wrong line. Saw the wrong line, picked the wrong line, played the wrong line, Carlos Brathwaite. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. He just chipped it, and we've got a match on our hands now. What is going on?
the golf chain. And the Merva. A regulation ball. Absolutely no idea. From Chris Jordan, how to counter that and an excellent take. Quiet. Smashes this for four. And those are the winning runs from the bat of Dominic Drakes. And the Gulf Giants have won a tense contest here in Sharjah against the Dubai Capitals. And they've won by three wickets.